All right, guys, so I just wanted to show you how the eTube app works. Right here, you can see on the bottom, that's the app for the motor and the electronic accessories, you know, for this e-bike here, the Cisco T6e. So let me just show you how that works quick. I'm just gonna click on the app to open it up. And what you have to do is you have to create an account first. So I logged in with my Google account, Jason, um, you know, and I added the bike. So that was really all you had to do was log in. So right now it's searching. Now I don't have the actual e-bike on. If I hold down the power button here, turn this on, like so. And if we swivel back to the screen, you can see the pass key. Do you want to change your pass key? I'm just going to do later. And now it is connecting to the T6e. So I had no problem connecting this. The reviews on the app are horrible from what I read, but like I said, I didn't have any issue uh, with my iPhone. It was very easy to use. I just, like I said, when I opened up the app, it asked me to register as a new user for Shimano. I did that. Then I walked over to the bike. I basically just hit the power button on the bike and it was already searching for the bike. So as soon as I turned the bike on, it found it and then it connected. And you'll see what happens in a second once it connects. It does take a second to connect for whatever reason, as you can see with that blue bar there. So there we are, connected. So if you tap on that, now you can see there's a bunch of different options on the top. You have update. I would recommend going to update first. And I'm now checking for updates. And as it turns out, I have firmware update for the motor. And there's also an update for the, you know, the little computer display screen there. So I'm going to update that stuff. You can see it looks like it's at about 73%. So this whole update is taken approximately, I don't know, five to ten minutes I would say it's almost done so the update just completed for the display here so it looks like it just rebooted on the right now it's got the check mark T6e is up to date good to go awesome no firmware updates available and that's because I already updated it but you can see all the different items here that are potentially available for updates so that's what that is, customize. This is where you can go in and you can customize some of your stuff. As you can see here, max speed says 20 miles an hour. So that seems to have gotten to the bottom of why I couldn't go faster than 20 miles an hour. Um, I wonder if I can change that. Yeah, 20 is as high as it goes, okay. I guess that's uh, all I can do there. Then you got your assist profiles here. Okay, so you have profile one and profile two. Now, profile one has three modes, eco, trail, and boost. But you can see here, profile two has all these individual stepped modes. So I kind of want to play with that. It looks like it would be fun to use. But anyways, and you can create custom profiles in here if you want as well. So that's where that stuff is. Now if I just go back and we go to maintenance, here we can see some information. So what we have is ride data. So if I go over here to ride data, you can see the battery power. And ride data will show. So total distance, I got 10.6 miles on this thing so far. And you can reset it right here if you want. Now down here on the left, you have a light bulb. And that will give you some information here um, on different options that this app offers, depending on what kind of bike you're using because this is made for obviously many different bikes, uh, different drivetrains, automatic shifting derailers, uh, all sorts of stuff like that. So then you have user manual, which is quite nice. And uh, that's basically just the basics of this app. So the reason why I wanted to show this though is so you can update your bike, that's most important. All right, I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit.